Hi, my name is Landon. I'm super excited to demo the Clio Candle integration for you today. To access Candle, you can do so from the Matters page here or from within the Matter itself. Candle appears as a pop-up on top of Clio, so users feel like they never leave Clio. And so users can request records by simply clicking the name of the provider either enter, entering in the treatment dates or using this hotkey here to uh, pull the date of incident from the Clio matter and then use today's date just to tell the hospital we want records from date X to date Y. And then the user can very simply upload an authorization from the Clio documents. And so the workflow typically is a user will upload a blank auth to authorization to Clio, uh, have it send it out for e-signature through Clio. And then that, as you know, the signed authorization will appear uh, in Clio automatically. And then twofold, that'll appear in Candle automatically, um, showing your Clio documents in this window here. And then you can easily send that request. That's typically the workflow. And so um, then you, the user lastly will just click what type of records they want. Um, complete medical records, itemized billing statements is a common one, although users can choose between just bills, just records, or they can type in uh, their own thing if they want. Another thing that users can do is send batch requests. And so rather than sit down and send all the record requests for this one client, sometimes it can be three, seven, 10 record requests. Uh, the user can just do that in one fell swoop using our bulk request feature. So once the user has the three requests or 10 or 20 or 50 requests they want to send, just click the green submit button. Then the user can preview the documents. So this cover letter that Candle created, you see that it has the provider name and information, the client's information, um, it pulled the date of incident from Clio. Now the user is taken to a simple manage screen where the user can see all of their requests they've ever sent through Candle. A lot of times law firms are, are making this spreadsheet on their own using Excel, or they're even using um, notepads or um, what have you. So Candle is meant to try to organize what can sometimes be a chaotic group of tasks. And so the user can organize all of these requests by matter, uh, by only the requests that they haven't received or pending requests, um, or even just ones that they have received. Users can set an automated Clio task with the cadence clock. So all they do is just set them out of days when they want to be reminded. And then if you go into the Clio task, you'll see that this is exactly all the information the user needs to follow up on this request. And it's, um, it's on a due date. Um, so this one is due, we chose 15 days, 617. It appears in the Clio calendar. And also, it's, it's automatically set to send the user an email um, when this request is due. I'll quickly show you Billy, and this allows users to track their clients' medical bills and liens to make their cases just that much easier. And when the user saves this processing expense, um, it actually goes to the Matters Activities tab as an expense here really is a really just a practical feature for lawyers to get off of spreadsheets and get more into a cloud-based um, Clio infused product. Oftentimes the request actually hold up a case and they cannot move to uh, the next stage of a case without getting all the requests back. And so to them, the 77% means, you know, we're 33% away from either getting our clients justice um, or just at least moving to the next stage in the case. The garden page is very simple. It is just a virtual garden where users can grow uh, plants in their garden by logging into Candle more. And so users will start with a little seed and the more they log into Candle, it'll grow into this orange tree. And it's just a way to just make the software more fun for the user. Um, all in all, Candle is a medical record retrieval and personal injury automation integration for Clio. And uh, thank you for your time.